crop circle need to be they need they they bringing us back to 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 our, our ancient understanding to the ancient sites and to the ancient sites of power where we can actually be fed when we enter a crop circle we we, we receive that energy you see it's always in line look silver hill yes. west canet long valley so they bring us to the old to the old building to the old um, temples because our ancestors had that knowledge our ancestors were as spiritual as we are materialistic. Now, if we understand that, we we'll see why it's so difficult to, 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 to relate to our ancestors. We are deeply materialistic, deeply, deeply materialistic. They were deeply, deeply spiritual. That's the difference. And we need to reconnect with the spiritual aspect because if we only go on the, on the physical all the time, we're going to destroy the, that which keeps us alive in here, you know? And it's coming quite fast, because we only see money. We see the world as money. This is money to the farmer. He doesn't see it as plants. He sees it as money. People see everything as money now, the trees, everything. So because you see it as money, you have no respect. And you don't see the consequence. You don't see consequences. You only see consequences when you go above that and you see, oh, what are we doing? The consequences are horrible. You know, but people don't see the consequences. They just see, at the end of the day, what comes into their bank account. And that's a very dangerous force. And it's come to a point now where we're so um, well equipped to be more and more and more efficient at it that we're just accelerate, uh, accelerating the destruction of, this, of the, 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 the life system that supports us. Whereas the spiritual, uh, where, where our ancestors, for example in Avebury, the ancestors' aim was to learn to, how, how the universe works and to learn to enhance the work there, to enhance nature, to help nature, you know. It's different, completely different, the opposite actually. It's, it's just an automatic reaction from a type of mindset. During the war, uh, there were crop circles in this country and people thought it was done by the Germans, you know. Oh, well, that was based on absolutely no facts whatsoever. They, want, they didn't even invade this country. And in Germany, when it happened during the war, they thought it was done by the English and the Americans. So again, it's an automatic. In the Middle Ages here, they thought it was done by witchcraft or, or, or fairies, they were called fairy rings and so on. So that's just, the, the mindset of the time kicks in and you, you go, well, it's not equal to what to be done by men with blanks because that's the mindset of our time, we're mechanistic and we're materialistic. But there's nothing to support it. Whereas all the, all the experiences that we've done, uh, you know, we see that actually there is, there is much more evidence that it isn't made by man than that, it, than that it is. And it's easy to dismiss something you don't know. Anybody can dismiss something they don't know. First, find out. If you find out, you'll see that it's not man-made. There, there is absolutely, there's very, very little evidence in, on any level, you know. For example, in the country, this has hap happened here since the 70s. You can't keep secrets in the country. It's the same in every country. You go in, in, in Norway, I'm sure, in the, in the rural area, if something happens there, everyone knows. You know, I say sometimes, you can have an affair in London, but you can't have an affair in Wiltshire, because everyone will know very quickly. <laughs> That's the nature of, of a countryside mentality. People know what's going on. Nobody has ever seen any evidence of anyone entering fields at night for 30 years. That's not possible. It's not possible. Just on that level, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Common sense dictates that to do something like that every night for years and years and years, someone would rat on them, they would, they would try to get the, the glory, they would try to uh, make money out of this. They would be millionaire if they could do that. They'd go to Spielberg. You know, when they made the film, one of the greatest difficulties was to create these, these, these designs. It took them much longer than they thought. Months. You know, they thought it'd be done like this. It, it, it's not so easy. So ignorance is what supports that theory. <laughs> In your opinion, who is behind it? Well, that's the only question I can't really answer. I can't answer that question. I like to stick to, uh, although I, I'm uh, metaphysical, is not... 
I would say that I, I tend to be more in the metaphysical uh, realm when I study this, but metaphysical is not naive. It's not based on naivety, you know, and I absolutely tend to stick to facts. Symbols mean what they mean, and they've meant, meant these things for thousands of years. There's no imagination in that, or, conju you know, sort of uh, imagination or whatever. It's based on facts. Well, crop circles are based on facts. They exist, they are imprinted, they mean something, they are the, 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 the plants are affected, the soil is affected, we know, you know, the time span is very short, and so on and so forth. So, I like to stick with facts. I don't like to to assume or to make conjectures. We could conjectures, a conjecture for, for a long time. We don't actually know. You know, it could be all sorts of things. But I don't know what it is, and nobody knows. We lean sometimes towards certain things. We know we're not just one-dimensional here. You know, the new computers use the dimensions to send information. So if they, we can pierce other dimensions, it can be pierced this way. We can just common sense, uh, but not even just common sense from a point of view of fractal, a mathematical point of view. It's actually impossible to have one world that's alive and everything dead. It's impossible. That's not mathematically possible. If one world is alive, it's, life is everywhere. Life is a, is, is a norm as opposed to the exception. So. And another uh, mathematical um, concept that we, we don't actually know, that, that science know be, knows between one, per, 1 and 10 percent of all that exists, which means, which means that from 90 to 99 percent is unknown. Why are we surprised something unknown appears? We live in the unknown. We live in the unknown. And now we're discovering something that some years ago people couldn't see even. So we're beginning to see that there are other aspects of our world that is here and manifesting and what it's telling me is that there's consciousness in everything, at every level, you know? And we're interacting with other consciousness. But what they look like, where they're coming from, I, I just don't know. Maybe in a few years we will. I don't know yet. But you live in the area here yourself. Uh, what is the, the common opinion among people, the farmers and everyone living around here? Really? Well, the common opinion is uh, actually, uh, I would say that in this area, 98 or percent of people have never seen a crop circle. The people you meet in crop circle are not the local people. You never meet local people, very rarely. You meet people who come from France, from Germany, from Norway, from America and so on. They meet here and English people from, from, from outside. But there are very people, few people who live here who have ever set foot in a crop circle or even seen a crop circle. Why is that? Because it's too far from their, from their ordinary way of thinking. It's so far, this, from our day-to-day -day way of how the world should be. We don't know the world we live in, but we think it should be in a certain way. And if it doesn't fit that desire that it should be in a certain way, it doesn't exist for most people. And they can't even see it physically. I'm, t I'm telling you. I had a person uh, at, at Chilhampton who came to prune our trees in our garden when we lived there. Shirehampton is just down the road. He said, oh yes, I heard there was a formation in 1991. He hadn't seen it. And he didn't know since 1991 that there had been anything else. He lives here in the valley. So it's a different, it's a different dimension. A different dimension of vision, of thinking. You see, we don't live in the same dimension as these people. There, there, there's something quite... Um, they cannot perceive it because they can't imagine it. That's the answer. And there's very few of us who are able to see these and interact with them. So, so if, you, if you don't know about it, you just assume it's man-made. But you have nothing to back it up. Nothing to support this. <laughs>